What's up everybody? Today's video is gonna be finally the installation of the engine in the car and um, I just brought from my friend's garage the, the lift as you can see it over there and I'm ready to to grab the engine with the lift and then put it in the car so let's do that Alright guys, as you saw it I put the engine in the in the in the car. Everything went well. Everything fit perfect. It was a little hard by myself to put it, but thank god everything went well. Everything is installed properly. Engine mounts they ship perfect in there as you can see it. They're perfect. Same there. So everything is is perfect installed. I just put the, the harness like that. I just want to see, make sure everything is okay. And the one is going all the way down the transmission. But uh, first, I really want to do the the fuel lines from here to the fitting line it goes all the way to the back to the fuel pump. And uh, the return line is gonna go straight on on the on the little regulator. I'm gonna show you real quick. I got everything here. Fuel pressure regulator, automotive, the little gauge, so I can see the pressure, fuel line, and some adapters, some, uh, yeah, some adapters. I got the key here, so I don't mess up the the, the, the bolts. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Right now, what I'm doing, um, as you remember, the last videos, I burned the the, the upper intake when I was power recording I left it in the stove a lot of time more than 10 minutes and it got burned the color so I want to do it again and now have it in the oven it's uh it's warming up a little bit so I can uh so I, can, I can throw the powder on it and then put it back to bake so let's do that and then we go back to the engine probably probably gonna do today the fuel lines so everything can be nice and clean because I'm gonna show you real quick As you see it, it's all the way there. I don't know if you can see it. It's this one there. The two lines over there. I just took out the little nut. This one's over here. So the thing is, I have to do the few lines first so I can put this one all the way up here because I don't want to be on my way when I do the fuels, the few lines. 
and uh, yeah that's why I want to do this first and then this one the fitting is gonna go straight to the primary rail then the primary rail gives to the secondary rail and then from here it comes back straight to the to the fuel regulator is gonna be over here on top under the upper intake and then from the fuel regulator is gonna go back to the return and it's gonna back it's gonna go back to the, the fuel tank yeah pretty much that's it it's pretty simple I like the way it's gonna look everything everything goes well so let me take the let me take the intake from the stove here it is it's getting a little more mopped I'm gonna in two minutes I'm gonna spray the first it's like a little chrome coat under the candy red so it can make it a little more shiny and yeah and uh, ready to go and then I'm gonna do a little of the candy blue for little covers that has to go on the intakes so so we can finish with the engine pretty much and then I mean then I don't be I don't know what I'm gonna do then so <laughs> let's see let's finish this first and then we'll see what we do it next let's do it All right, finally done. It was a long day, of course. I did a lot today. I'm gonna show you really cool what I did exactly. I believe you saw everything on time lapse, but uh, after the time lapse, I just installed some other things I didn't put on the camera. I'm gonna show you really quick right now, and uh, that's what it is. That's how it is. Perfect, perfect. It looks amazing. I'm going crazy right now. Look at this. I still have to make this mount. Uh, it's gonna be bolted over here. The the one that comes with the automotive uh, is not like it doesn't fit good over there. So that's why I'm gonna make a new a new plate on the back. A new plate so I can bolt over here in the two holes. Yeah. Upper intake got power coated, candy red of course, like all the all the other pieces, and it came out really good. Not burning this time. Not burning this time. Some brackets I paint them and uh, I put the map sensor, I put the oil feed for the master cylinder for the clutch. Lines are you saw it all the way to the rails, the fuel rails, uh, fuel, the fuel regulator is still waiting for the plug over here so I can test all the fittings for for I don't have any leaks of course. And uh, but she are bolt on the ground, it comes straight from the battery. So we are fully grounded. I put on all the connectors in place, of course, for the for the injectors, the fuel pressure, of course. Here is the temperature sensor, the level, the coolant, and 
I think it's one more over here. The another another section for the colon, the alternator connectors, and we go over here on the turbo. Um, I left it like that because I'm waiting for the um, I'm waiting for the the bush controller to arrive. I don't know where exactly I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna get I got only one manual. We do it by by hand. Uh, it's gonna be easier for this setup because I'm pretty sure like soon I'm gonna I'm gonna put a single turbo so I don't want to spend money on the something I'm, I'm not gonna use later and uh, right now I just want to take the car out because it's summer and I want to drive it on summer here to see how it is how it feels because I don't know how it's gonna be yes and uh, I'm gonna put the boost control over here this is the one line it goes straight to the to the to the coolant holes over here the coolant unit is connected over here is going straight back to the heater inside the car and um, I don't know probably I'm gonna change this one because I don't like it the blue color I want to get something like blue because this one it pops so much and I don't really like it yeah guys so I did a lot today I'll be honest with you oh I did also under the car I, I bought on the support for transmission and differential both connected in the same piece and like the whole brace is a uh, is a uh, grabbing pretty much the transmission and make straight line through the differential so you don't have any vibrations on the car and uh, I put the exhaust I connect the exhaust to the mid pipe because I, that's what I that's the only thing I took out is it was the mid pipe and I still have to put a little brackets under the car and we're done for under the car for sure 100% over here over here I'm just waiting for the I already you already see I put the bushings the new bushings all over the place I put on the the ankle that's how they call it I believe on it it works perfect solid and I'm still waiting for the brakes the destroyers, the brake pads, the new brake pads and of course I'm really excited for this one because I know it's gonna be a nice video of course and it's gonna look amazing it's this one over here the calipers the Mazda calipers they're so they're really mess right now and uh, I can't wait to some blasted power coder candy red I believe it's gonna be the color of course it's gonna look amazing that's the only thing I I wanted to see like I want I want you this I want to see the inside the let's say like that when you go look inside the car you see everything brand new right now you don't see anything it's like a mess like a rusty and of course I can't wait to do the the rear part because it's gonna be another another build of course for the rear part I gotta rebuild the rear part too so it's gonna we we have a lot of work to do over here one more thing waiting for you over here is the the oil the oil filler neck is like going straight up turns comes up and it comes over here i want, really want to get the, the stainless steel it looks amazing it looks really nice like uh when it's like a burnt color bluish gold red or whatever it turns when you overheat it and i really like it i want to get it for sure all right guys that's it for this video we did a lot today so i see you to the next one of course like subscribe don't forget see you to the next one peace out